need to change my stream pad back. I need to just change it back to uh, Chrome Dome. Chrome Dome. Alright. 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 Here we are. Hello, everyone. How are we have to I can't fucking talk today, apparently. How is everyone doing? <laughs> All right, let's see. Where did we leave off? We were, we had just finished. <coughs> we had just finished uh, our iron thing. So off stream yesterday, what I did is that I went and grabbed like 100 things of iron and brought it back and uh, started smelting it. And I was just kind of doing that off stream since it wasn't very entertaining. And also upgraded our materials, almost all of them to level 4, other than our pickaxe. So I need to go get some core wood. I need to go grab some core wood from uh, uh, Gavany. And once we have that, we'll upgrade our pickaxe, so that way we can use it more without it wearing down. Maybe do more damage against those stone golems. All right. How's our base doing over here? We haven't been here in a while, really, like checked on it. Seems to be doing fine. Alright. Let's go over here. We need, we need to eat. So, let's eat you, you, and you. That seems fine. Now is our last serpent uh, stew, so we have to make more. Get him. And then we'll go ahead and cut this log. Grab some coal wood. I don't know how much we need. We don't need that much. But we have plenty of logs just laying around from where I cleared out this whole area before. Like, just absolutely devastated this area. Oh, for some reason, I was thinking that was a what uh, that was a log that I could pick up. I might as well go ahead and just break a few of these, get rid of these stumps, get rid of all these stumps, get rid of that stump. Mr. Stumpy over here. And Mr. Stumpy over there. Kill all of them. Kill them all. Alright. Grab all of these. Uh, stumps are pretty frustrating to just continuously walk around, so getting rid of them is good. <coughs> oh, and down the hill it goes. Come on. Hit the log. Thank you. I'm apparently at max weight already. Get rid of that. Uh, get rid of the regular wood. We don't really need the regular wood at the moment. Get rid of the stone, eyes, and amber. Get rid of the regular wood. Alright, where'd that log go? Oh, it's all the way over there. We'll get it next time. There we go. And then we'll cut this one up. It's so nice having this maxed out iron axe because it's literally one swing and clear to pull this out. One swing. Get rid of all that. Chink. Kachunk. We'll go ahead and get rid of this uh, stump right here as well. Alright. Back to Moreland. Might as well grab this. And the reason why I haven't cleared this out is because this actually helps, like, make a blockade for the base. So I'm going to keep that there. I think once... I think once I do actually clear that out, I'll flatten this area out and make, like, a like a garden. I think that would be cool. That would be nice and pretty. That would be really pretty if I made a garden over this way. I should do that. That would look really nice. If I could grow flowers, that would be even better. But I don't think I can grow just regular flowers in this game. I would have to. Well, I mean, what I can do is plant my turnips and such and just never pick them. And just have them flower and grab their, instead of grabbing their seeds, just keep them there. That would look, I think that would look nice. Alright, so we have a lot of cool wood. Let's go ahead and throw our regular wood. Uh, let's throw you in here. Can we throw any charcoal in here or are we full? We're full on charcoal. So we'll keep this in here. Uh, 
Grey Dwarf's eye, eyes aren't used for any crafting. This is our spare box. We'll actually go ahead and grab this flint. Put it into this box so that way we can grab that fine wood and take it somewhere else. And then the iron. We'll go ahead and grab a stack of 30. our pickaxe no probably be like another stack of 40 30 or 40 to upgrade it again 30 all right and we don't have 30 we have 19 we have 19 which I'm not going to worry about let's see what other iron stuff we need we'd need the iron for upgrading the silver sword but oh my god it's going to take so much silver so much silver. And I need to put this harpoon back in the boat. So, uh, that chest is full. That chest is full. That doesn't need to go in there. Uh, technically, all these bones don't really need to go in here either. The bones should be going in a different chest. Uh, let's put the wait, skeleton skull. It's going in there. Bones. Bones, bones, bones. Oh, cradle flies goes right there. <coughs> we need to craft some uh, piercing arrows now that we have some needles. I don't really need any of these bones, to be honest. I'm just going to throw them out this way. Like, I don't really need them for crafting or anything. Just get rid of them. Alright, so... I think. Hmm. It's a dangerous thing for me to think. Let's go ahead and grab those piercing or these these things right here. And see what we need to actually make. I think it's just regular wood to make uh, piercing arrows. All of our things. Piercing, piercing, piercing. Uh obsidian needle arrows there they are so we i got my math rocks yes emerald i got my math rocks i just need feathers for the arrows so cool grab these feathers i got my clicky clacky math rocks and they're sitting right over here they're nice and pretty nice and nice and pretty i really like them they roll really well too i mean i've I've rolled a 15 and two 17s with this dice, so it's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, needle arrows. Sweet. I can make... I think I can make a hundred of them. I think I have enough to make a hundred. Remember to save the card? There, there was a card. I didn't see a card in the bag. I'll have to check that in a minute. Sweet! I have a stack of 100 needle arrows, which is fantastic, because they're apparently the best arrows in the game, other than just, you know, the poison and obsidian, so. I like that. And then we have to put the harpoon in the boat. Um. I did. <laughs> I did bite it. Oh my god. Oh. That's why I hate this chair. I'll grab that. Put that over there. Uh, <coughs> yeah, there's no card in the back. There's no card in the back. Hmm. No card in it. It only had the the plastic wrap that was around the uh, die. That's all that was in it. Oh well. Well mine came with one. It had a little discount code. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get one. Which is fine because I don't plan on buying any more dice anytime soon. So getting free dice is amazing. There we are. Alright, back to this. 
Oh yeah, it was nice. Very nice of them. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Harpoon goes back in the boat. We can go ahead and grab this chain and these these things right here. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's see. We'll just throw these in the boxes that we have. Then what do we need to do? What do we need to do for this episode? For this for this stream? We need to explore. We didn't get that. We were supposed to do that in yesterday's stream, but we didn't get around to it. We didn't get around to doing it. So we need to explore. And we need. Ooh, we need to build. We need to build a new fort, or a uh, not a fort, but a a uh, tele. We need to make a portal. It's more like our addiction becomes too strong to resist. Yes, this is true. We need to build a portal. So we need to go get some fine wood, which should be enough down at the plains, but I might as well go ahead and grab these in here. Um, so what do I need you... Oh, I'll take the strawberries. Uh, I don't need the swamp key, but we have an extra one. So I, I might as well keep it on me, because it's like 0 0.01 pounds. It's 0 0.01 units. So we have certain cools. We need great ore pies which are right here uh, I think we need like 10 yep 10 so assured assuredly we can since there is going to be a, a black forest area down this way or at least I think I saw one uh, down this way we can more than likely get some great wolf eyes just from farming down this way and we should have plenty of wood to make a base down that way so <coughs> portal is probably what we are going to do. We actually need to make two portals. Or we could just reinstitute this one. Just re-tag. Have this one as Mud Hut 5. That, uh, since this one connects to right here. <coughs> Every time we need to go to one of these two, we could just re-tag it. And hope, hope it connects. I think that's what we're going to try. I think we're going to try that. Yes. Because I don't have the resources necessary yet to make a uh, make a portal tower like I want to. It's kind of kind of what I plan on doing. Somewhere around this area. I don't know if I'm going to Because I want this to be my barley field, right? Over to the left here, I want this to be my barley and flax field. And grow, grow this out that way. Gavany, I'm going to have all my... No. Gavany, I'm going to have a flower bed next to the house. And then I need to redo... Kessig. Kessig is very homey, so I kind of want to keep it like that. Kessig is going to be like bee farm and everything. Unless I move the bee farm to Gavany. But if I do that, I run the risk of... No, we're not going to move the bee farm. We're not going to move the bee farm because if I move it to Gavany, it runs the risk of being damaged by the Grey Dwarfs and everything that come out of the woods. Unless I build fencing around it. That's a, that's a decision for another day. It's a decision for another day. We're not going to do that. Before I leave, I do need to cook some new serpent stews. Or, let's see, I've got the mushrooms and honey that it needs to use. Do I have lox meat? I do have lox meat. Uh... Can I cook it? I don't think I can cook anything with the lox meat. I don't think I, I can cook anything with the lox meat yet. I'll go ahead and craft a, a few serpent stews. Two, three, four. I'll just cook what I have as much as I can. I can make onion soup. Mm, sausages. Now we have 
up in stews. We'll just put the lox meat back. We'll save that for a rainy day. We'll save the lox meat for a rainy day. Push those. Necktails can go into this one. Just making sure I don't have any duplicates. Doesn't look like I do. All right. I haven't discovered the merchant yet, Emerald. I I can't find him. I can't find him. So this map is absolutely massive, and I just can't find him. I I do know that if I'm near him, like I get it like a bag symbol next to my like up in my upper right hand corner, but past that I don't know what to tell you. Plenty of cores, eyes. Uh, we can actually grab a lot more eyes from Gavany. <coughs> we can have a lot more of the eyes from Gavany. If I remember correctly, they are here. Uh, I don't think we need frost resistant needs with us yet because we're not going to fight the boss, but we are going to grab the spine wood. See, there they are. We'll go ahead and grab a stack of 25. And then... That's all we need. And then we just need to go at this point. Uh, we are going to sleep beforehand. Since now it is night, we are going... Were you allowed to set the world size? I don't know. I didn't check. I just pressed play. I didn't see anything that allows me to change the world size, so... I assume not. But it's absolutely massive map, so I I don't know. I don't know where he is. I'm going to assume that the world size is generic and set. <coughs> but like, see, this is an absolutely massive map. So I have absolutely no clue where he is. I'm going to assume that he's somewhere nearby in this area. Because he shouldn't spawn too very far from where my starting area is. Well, I don't know where that is. So. To a boat. To the boat. Uh, we're going to eat some mushrooms and then some other stuff. Close that back. Alright. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right, then we'll go this way. Close that back. Repair the ship. Nope. Oh, Alright. Um. I don't think we need to. We'll, we'll go ahead and store all these items just in case. And we'll go ahead and head out. We have a nice southern wind. We have a nice southward wind. So it's standard for it to be massive. Yes. We have a nice south southern direction wind, which would allow us to make a decent amount of. Uh, distance. Although, if we come across a serpent, I'm going to wrestle it to shore. That was fun. That was a fun fight. I very much enjoyed that fight. It was so hard. I almost lost him at least three times. Because to, in order to drag him to shore, you have to have the stamina to drag him to shore, and then if you're out of stamina, and then he tries to move away from you, it breaks the line. And so it's a really tough fight. Absolutely loved it. <sighs> Alright. Let's go full sail. Now, I won't rest of it if, I, if I'm, like, in the, uh, how was your day? I should have my blankets today. I was really tempted to stay in my blankets today. Oh, of course. As soon as I get into the ocean, the, s <laughs> the t wind changes to a northern direction. Ugh. All right. I guess we're going to crawl our way down. The moment I said that. <laughs> Damn it. Curse you, Odin. <laughs> Curse you, Odin. 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 Curse you,
Curse you, Odin. Damn it. Uh, I was really tempted to stain my blankets today. Really tempted, but I had to work. I had to make some kind of money today. I will spit. I will admit, I spent the majority of my day in the uh, in my blankets. A good majority of the day, because I haven't. I didn't sleep much uh, last night. I didn't sleep much last night, so I just decided to stay in bed. But I had to get up. I had to go to work. I love the graphics. Amazing graphics. I really, truly hate that the wind changed direction on me at the last second. Right when I was leaving. It's frustrating. It's a good thing the storm's over though. How was your day, Emerald? Did you have a good day? I'm assuming that since you stayed in your blankets all day, it was a pretty good day. I'm assuming so. Good, chill. Played with the pupper in the snow. Oh, I love the pupper. Good old puppy. You said it was a, it was a beagle mix. Right, it's a beagle mix. I forget what you said the other half was. Yeah. It's a good puppy, very good puppy. <sighs> I need to explore this area as well. I need to explore all this area. Just continuously filling the map. Just pick it in the pet channel. He's a key puppy. You know, it's strange to me. It's strange to me, and it's something that is kind of, you know, shown in, uh, in some games, uh, especially this one. The sea serpents, right? When you come across the sea serpents, they roar. Like, they open their mouths and they let out a roar. And I don't understand that because most underwater creatures, fish especially, do not have vocal cords. At least if I'm remembering correctly, like sharks, they don't have vocal cords. Eels, they don't have vocal cords because there's not much use or sound underwater since it's all now they now there are some creatures that use sonar but those are like dolphins and these are mammals that I'm speaking of so like whales and dolphins and porpoises they use their vocal cords to emit sounds as like echolocation right but those are mammals but fish but fish don't really use that So I don't understand the roaring aspect from a, from a biological standpoint. Because most things use their sense of smell while underwater to differentiate between things. Use their sense of smell and they have like a sixth sense. So like sharks, they have a sixth sense. They use, uh, they have a organ in their skull that allows them to tell elect like electromagnetic waves and are able to tell directions from that and they're able to tell like which way is north and such hmm. due to magnetism so 
most most species of fish and marine and animals do not use sound other than the other mammals that are underwater such as dolphins whales porpoises which a dolphin is a porpoise but either way but it's just one of those things it adds a bit of terror and scare into the game so I'm going to go half sail since I'm not facing directly against the wind now. Hmm. To intimidate predators or disorient, serpents are big, so it would be either need a giant amount of small prey or target big creatures. But I feel like there would be more of an ambush predator, seeing as how serpents are so large, most of them would not need anything to intimidate because they are in ambush predators, or they are silent, so I'm... Because mm. things that allow, like, things that use their ears, like everything above water, uh, that would be, that would be common, you know, to intimidate predators, to intimidate, or to call out, or to mate, such as, like, mammals. That's what I keep coming back to, is that mammals use, use that because mammals live both on land and underwater. But most species that live underwater do not use sound. But, mm, but bullets... Do bullet, you, do bullet shrimp use sound to make those bubbles though? That I'm not sure. I know the mantis shrimp uh, is just really fast and thus creates the bubble. Like it punches it so fast it causes the water to create a bubble which then implodes and does extra damage. It's a luck right there. Alright, half sail again. And I do know that sound can do a lot underwater. It's just because because sound travels faster underwater than it does in the air because sound is how fast something vibrates, right? And so when you have a, a lot of things that a lot of uh, atoms that are compacted together, sound travels faster through them rather than in the air where it's a bunch of loose particles bouncing around everywhere. I really need this wind to agree with me. Kind of being a dick at the moment. I'm going to angle this way. Just to get a little bit of speed going. We'll just angle this a bit. connect these two lines right here and then we'll stop making the line back. Or we could just deal with it. We'll just angle back and just proceed slowly. And if we come across any serpents we'll just kill them. That makes sense to me. Bubbles shoot at 60 miles per hour and make a sound as high as 210 decibels. But then they're not really using the sound to do anything. That's what I'm saying. Is they're not using sound to make the bubbles. It's them shooting the bubbles out that makes the sound. And so it's a it's it is a secondary effect to a primary cause. <gasps> Ooh, Leviathan. Let's go hack at it. We could use some more chitin. We'll see if there's anything else on the Leviathan. I don't think there would be anything, but we'll see. It's 
sound scares away predators, but yeah, true, true. It is, but it is a smaller organism. But even then, it goes back to the thing that I was discussing. They're not using the vocal cords to make the to make the sound. So the mantis shrimp are like on like screaming at the top of their lungs to make this bubble, or not lungs, but screaming in order to make the sound. They are doing they're doing an action which causes the sound to create the effect. I'm just kind of exploring, seeing if there's anything else up here. I imagine there's not, but... Oh, that's not the thing I wanted. Can I cut this tree down? I apparently can't cut this tree down. If it is, oh, it's actually just like an antenna or something. Oh, uh, we'll go ahead and farm the conical. I think this guy would be happy that I'm getting these barnacles off of him. Apparently not. Alright, back to the boat. Bye. Bye, friend. See you later. We'll throw these in there. All right. Well, in terms of size, the serpent aren't the biggest thing in the water. I mean, true, but I don't think many things feed off of them. Like if the leviathans feed off of them, they, I feel like they would aggro against me. So. so. This is just all hypothetical in general, so. Because it is a game that we are discussing, because sea serpents don't. I mean, sea serpents could exist in real life. They very well could. We just. I don't think. Why is it purple? Why is there a purple mist? Maybe it's just that cloud in the distance. Kind of weird. Anyways. Back to moving southward. Go in this direction. <coughs> I know it's sunset, but it just freaked me out that everything was like starting to make a purple mist. I think over here, well, well, we'll move southward a little bit farther. We'll move a little bit farther south. Definitely need to keep not to the shallows, but to the depths. <laughs> yeah, see? See's color change. Why do I hear boss music? What's going on? I think we'll move a little farther south. Just a little bit farther. Unless there's like boxes over here, but I'm going to move. Uh, wait, no. I, why am I trying to land at the plane? I'm going to try to move at the Black Forest. Stay away from the dangerous place. That makes sense to me. But I would like to explore that because it looks like a hand. It looks like a finger. That's probably <gasps> that's probably a boss location. Because doesn't it look like a thumb? That's, ex that's coming out. And it looks like a grasped hand. Like. 
Alright, let's, uh, I see a bunch of loxes over that way. Let's move to the depths so that way we don't aggro them. Move a little bit farther into the ocean. A little bit farther out. So we don't aggro them. Because they can destroy my ship. And I'd much rather that they didn't. Let's go ahead and eat. Again. Because I have an ability that prevents me from taking damage. But I can't give that ability to my ship. Definitely gonna go explore that though. Hello, Hobbit! Hi, hi! I saw you not too long ago. In Dale's thing. Ah, look at that beautiful sunset. Hobbit, redeemed hydrate. Thank you, Hobbit. Alright. This seems like a decent area to set up shop. That looks to be the Black Forest area. We're going to... Since the Black Forest area is... What I see as safety <laughs> compared to the plains. We're going to try to build over this way. Yes, and there's a Great Wolf right over there, so I definitely know that this is a Black Forest area. Yep. I think over this way, this little islet right here, this little peninsula, would be a great place to dock. How's your day been, Hobbit? And stop the ship. Perfect. Alright, now we have to go about finding a way to start crafting. I should have brought my hoe. That way I could flatten out an area. I should have brought that. That would have made sense. Well, it's too late now. I'm just gonna have to try the flattest area that try to find the flattest area that I can. Which seems to not be too terribly far. Let's get rid of these guys. Let's get rid of these rude neighbors. Fantastic. So, I think I think actually building onto this is not a bad idea. Oh, hello. Is there a Oh, I hear Finlay. Get rid of him. I hear Finlay somewhere. Probably over there with the fire. I'm not going to worry about him unless he comes this way. And it looks like he's coming this way. Well, all right, come on then. Come on then. Come on. Come get me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ow, he kind of hurts. Oh, he's using a sword. That's why he hurts. There he goes. Goodbye. Enough of them. Not too bad. Aside from playing phone tag with various medical people, I understand that. My day hasn't been too bad. Kind of like Emerald here, I spent the majority of my day in bed, and then I was like, I need to make money, so I decided to work. And that's kind of how my day developed. 
All right, so I need to clear this area. I think I think this area right here is perfectly fine for a little base, for a small, tiny, tiny little base, tiny area. So we just need the wood because we need tin wood in order to make the crafting area. <coughs> Excuse me. Go ahead and cut down this pine tree. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of these guys. Get rid of these. Get rid of oh my god, you guys are just relentless, aren't you? At least they're yielding a decent bit of wood. over there. It looks interesting. Who's still? Oh, I don't see anyone else. Oh, there you are. Make sure I don't have... Okay. Oh. Sniped. Try it again. Bonk. Sniped. What is that? That just looks to be a random little building, so we'll just get a little bit more. Continue. Ooh, shrooms. I love making shrooms. And then start proceeding to gather wood again. Uh, we've got 50. We've got 50, and we can't actually carry much more than what we already have, so let's get rid of these stones. We definitely don't need that. all this. Get rid of all this. Alright. Time to snipe this fellow. And then we can craft. So, crafting. We need a table. So we'll set it right there. Perfect. Building. We will extend out this way. And then we'll extend out this way. You asshole. Guys are messing me up. Come on. Get rid of all of you again. Come on. They're really fucking annoying. Get rid of them. Get rid of this log. Get rid of this bush. Gather all this up. Alright, uh, now, back to doing this. One right there. One right there, one up top, one right there. Ooh, we could actually... Idea. Instead of making it straight on the ground, actually, actually think this through. Since we're going to be using this as a el facto base for the moment, might as well actually make it into a base. Or at least start to, anyways. <coughs> That's probably fine. You all are really annoying. You know that? I mean, I need your eyes. I do need... I need to get your eyes. I actually didn't really need to get your eyes, to be honest. Um... That's gonna be a slight problem. No, isn't it? Uh, let's... Hold on, this needs a roof. It'll probably tell me that I need a roof before I can... Yes, that will need a roof. So, in that case, what we'll do is we'll just continue with the plan. Do this, and then we will set a small piece right here. And then extend out this way. Five. Five, you guys. You guys! Fuck off! Two... We'll just do two this direction. Right there. Right there. Then we will start building upwards. One. 
two. One, two, two, sweet. Two, sweet. Candy, you whistle, the whistle you eat. And then we need to make a roof. Let's do, um, Let's do a low roof for now. Let's do just a regular low roof for now. Alright, and now, workbench. Ho. Craft. Punk. Alright, now we have this, so we can start flattening this area out. Very nice. Very, very nice. This looks all this looks so much better already. Let's go ahead and eat some more. So what kind of what kind of uh uh fun, was it at least fun phone tag, Hobbit? Was it at least fun phone tag? I'm going to assume not, but you know, I'm just trying to be optimistic about it. Delicioso. All right, time to slap a bitch. All right, and then it's almost daybreak. Well, technically it is daybreak. So we're going to just continue to beat these guys into submission. I'm actually going to equip this in the, the number eight spot. And it's not quite even yet. Not really. One of them was trying to schedule an appointment and the other was a dude. Where's my stuff call? That's annoying. I, I, will, I will give you that. That is really annoying. We've noticed that you haven't paid your bills in three years. So uh, where's our fucking money? What do you mean? I haven't had a bill. I had a duck bill once, but then that's the reason why I even went to the doctor. I had to get that surgically removed. funny every now and then. Pick up all these things. Alright, I think that's actually a decent size for the base. I think that's a decent size. Um, we'll go out a little bit more. We'll go out just a tiny bit more. Oh, wrong one. That way. Get rid of this. Thankfully, it was me asking them where my stuff. It was me asking them where stuff was, not the other way around. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I thought they were the ones calling, and be like, "Hey, where's my, th where's my stuff?" I'm like, oh, we need our money, because <laughs> doctors be like that sometimes. A dandelion must be the last one of the season. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. One. Two, three, four, right there, right there, right there, one right there. And before he notices me, I'm going to see if I can, oh, nope, he noticed me. It's all right, though. Anyone else? Oh, there is someone else. Poo on you. I think four would be fine. Two, three, four. Pillar right there. Yep. One, two. 
three. Gonna kill it right there. Now I'm out of wood again. Alright. And then one right there. Perfect. Now it's time to chop down some more wood. Get rid of these stumps. You have to get cranky with them. Like, where's my. Be like a uh, Stewie from uh, Family Guy. Where's my money, man? Where's my money? Where's my money, man? Get rid of all this. Get rid of all that regular wood. Put down this fir tree. Timber! Oh, of course, it actually falls on my stuff. Ooh, come on, I want to see more snow. Give me more. <laughs> Give me a day of school. Yes, I know, right? I wanted more snow, but unfortunately, we did not get more snow. We got a tad bit of snow and then mostly ice. It was so great. So thankful for it. I mean, I, I, I say that sarcastically, but I, I absolutely love the snow, and so it was. Any little bit of it is beautiful to me. I absolutely love it. Why is... What? Excuse me. These are the same dimensions. If these are the same dimensions, why are they, um... What? How did... How? How did that happen? As someone in the medical field, it's partially intentional because medical insurance is evil and hate when people have legit claims. Uh, no, I try not to get cranky with them. It's not their fault that my medical crap is annoyingly complicated. Understand. Anything medical is annoying, annoyingly complicated. I don't know what I did, but I fixed it. Sweet. And then we can start on flooring. How much wood do I have? I can do five more panels. One, two, three, four. build it crafting we build it up here and then fuck Mwah. buenissimo uh, we need to chop all this down Uh, I meant as I meant going into the medical field. Dang, my brain felt faster than I tried. It happens. Uh, we'll keep the resin. We don't need those. Definitely don't need the bones. Definitely don't need some guy's head. All right, and then we'll go ahead and pick all this up. Kill the stump. branch 
I don't want to, those are nice trees. I don't want to break those trees yet. Uh, how much uh, wood do I have? 36, that's perfectly fine for now. That. Actually, let's leave that one. That's not where I wanted to get the keyboard at all. Right there. Right there. Right there. Doop, doop, doop. Nope. Mm, not quite right. Nope, not right. My name is Doug Dimmadimmadale Dimmadale Dome. Alright, now we need to get more wood. Ugh, we actually picked up some buke berries. I don't want those. Those are nasty. Dis disgusting! Damn it, Emerald, I was thinking, uh... Okay, wait, wait, wait. One, three, two... I missed the joke. Apparently I've missed one of Hobbit's comments. And I've missed the joke. Oh well. I'm sure someone will explain it to me in a second. How are my dimensions off? What did I do? How? What have I done? I don't know what I did. Can I, like, pick these up? Uh, you said you didn't... Oh, I, I see what you did. I didn't want some guy's head, is what I said. I didn't want some random guy's head. If I knew him, sure, why not? Let's do it. We'll just eat. And of course, it's gonna follow my things. That's fine though. Out of here. Pick all that up. This guy. Alright. Uh, we're fine. Rebuilding our wall. You know, I'm really upset. I so I started watching uh, the Ancient Maker's Bride. Right, I really I recently started watching that, and it's really good anime. If you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. It's really good. But I'm upset because when I started watching it on Crunchyroll. Uh, it said it had like five seasons and I was like fuck yeah let's go five seasons of it and so I started watching it and got finished with the th with the uh, first season I went to go to the uh, second season and I didn't exactly understand what was going on and I was like I must have missed something so I went back and looked and apparently Crunchyroll doesn't have five seasons of of Ancient Maker's Bride it has one season 
and then one OVA, and then three seasons of a different three quote unquote seasons of the season one in a different dub. Which makes me really upset because I I love the series. I love the series. I was oh my god, it was so good. It's so good, and I wanted to keep watching. But there's not any more past season one, and it's been out for like years now. And I'm just really mad. I'm really mad because I hate it when they do that. I hate it when Crunchyroll does that. And I hate it when you find a good anime that you really love, and there's only one season. It's kind of like I, right after I had that fit, I went and started watching Konosuba. And Konosuba's really funny. I love Konosuba. But there's two seasons, and I'm like, fuck. I want more seasons. I want more. I want to watch more of this. Oh, but alas, there is not. So I've got to find another anime to watch. Another anime to binge. Can I not? Alright, I guess we're going to have to skip this over a bit. Crafting that. I'm going to have to just scooch it over a tad bit so I can fit this wall in. Low corner piece, like that. Low ceiling piece, like this. Three, one, two, three, four. Oh, oh. Um, let's actually make this the door right here. So, get out of there. One right there. One right here. Now we have to go get more wood. Go cut down another tree. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why they did that. Pick up a branch. There was one over there. Get back here. All right, and there's plenty of birch trees over there. So there's plenty of fine wood. I've just got to survive, which it shouldn't be too hard because once I make this mini base, I will be able to have a spawn point over here and a portal. Ooh, what should we name this one? What should we name this base? Because it's not going to be a mud hut. Mud huts are just really simple and I'm putting a lot more effort into this than a normal mud hut. we name this? Hmm. Get rid of those. Don't need that. Don't need those. Hmm. What to name this base? It's going to have to be something to go along with our theme. Mud hut, because it's classier and because it's got a mud hut there. No. It's got to, it has to follow our theme, right? So the theme is the uh, dual lands, or not really dual lands, but the tap lands from Innistrad, which is the Magic the Gathering set. Kessig Wolf Run, the Moorland Haunt, Gavany Townsend, and I can't remember the others, but we've done the green-white combo. We've done the... Let's see, we've done the green-white combo, we've done the green-red combo, and we've done the red-black combo. So there's more lands that we have to do. But I don't know what their names are off the top of my head. I'd have to look them up. Come on, there we are. Then it's corner piece, just like that. And then corner piece, just like that. Corner piece, just like that. And then one right there. One right there. And then 
and all of these. One. Two. Somehow I fucked that one up. Three. Four. Still fucked up. There we are. Good enough. And one right here. And then the piece de la resistance. If I can get it, there it goes. Right there. And why are these all offset? I don't understand how they keep getting offset from each other. I don't. What have I done? Come on. I need you to be flush. Like that. that in a minute. Alright. There we are. So you need to line up with that. But you need to be changed out with this. Like that. There we go. Place is built. Fantastic furniture. We have to go get more wood to make a bed. Do I have to go there? If we're going down the list on the MTG wiki, the next would be Stinzia. Stinzia? I'm not familiar with Stinzia. What uh, color combination is that one? Uh, this is not a Robin shirt. This is a uh, red, not red hood, excuse me, uh, not, uh, Nightwing. Nightwing shirt. So you were close. Dick Grayson. He was robbing him. Yes. I don't know. You didn't say Dick Grayson. It's not when he was from a he was a Robin, you know. to eat again, so we'll go ahead and eat some of that. And now night time again. Go ahead and get rid of that. Get some more of these. Uh, we need to equip these because we've got somebody trying to attack us. Alright, sweet. Back to this, we need to build a door. So, right there. And then right above the door, we need to build a low sitting wall. Just like that. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. And then right here, we're going to build a fire pit, miscellaneous fire pit. We're actually going to build two. One. Oh, never mind. We're going to build one because we don't have enough stone. Crafting furniture. Put that in this corner. Boom. Spawn point set. We'll go ahead and sleep through the night. So. Innistrad land. Let's see. Hmm. We 
Done Rockfall Vale. It's not Overgrown Farmland. It's not Fontaine Bridge. It's Shipwreck Marsh. Shipwreck Marsh. Oh, we need to build a uh, thing. I'm just going to knock out that ceiling. So that way we have a way to vent the uh, fire pit. Deserted beach also works. <coughs> So we've got Isolated Chapel, Woodman Cemetery, Hinterland Harbor. Uh, that one would be cool. Hinterl Hinterland Harbor, because it is right where, right where it connects to the mountains and plains. Sulphur Falls, no. Clifftop Retreat, no. No, we're not going Clifftop Retreat. Because that, that would be, Clifftop Retreat would be like if we built a base on the mountain, on the edge of a cliff. That would be... <coughs> we have Gavany Township, Kep Kessig Wolfrun, Stintia Blood Hall, Nefalia, Drown Yard. Okay, so the two options that we have if we're going with this is Nefalia, Drown Yard, and Stintia Blood Hall. Let's go with... Stintia Drown Yard or the or the Stintia Blood Hole and the Nefalia Drown Yard. Hmm. I don't know. I think I think this one's gonna be the drown yard. I think this one's going to be the Drown Yard, because it's next to the ocean. The Blood Hall, I feel like, would be more inland. It would be an inland base. So we're going to name this one Nefalia. This one's going to be Nefalia. Settled. Now we're going to build the chest. We're going to dump some of these things in here. So, like, all these things. No head. Why do, why do I keep getting some guy's head? I don't want that. Put all this in here. I was just about to say the drown yard because it's close to the water. I agree. That makes sense to me. We need... What's clipped? Oh, the... Another head comment. Gotcha. Alright, so... We've got a base built at the moment. This one's gonna be Nefalia. And once I've cleared this area, I feel like I have to build a larger base right here. I feel like that's necessary. Is once once I get farther along with the game, I'll actually rebuild this base. But that's a little bit too far ahead for the moment. Right now... Yep, I see a mosquito. For right now... What I need to focus on is getting this portal built. And I know there's gonna this there's gonna be a mosquito that aggro's somewhere along here. Yep, he's right there. Let's see if I can shoot him down first. Perfect. And then we'll ch chop this down. We'll go ahead and get some fine wood. There's a bunch of loxes over there, which is good, because we actually need to start killing some of those. Come on. There we go. Three. Some fine wood. One. 
two. Three. Oh, that'll just yield. Oh no, I didn't know, I didn't realize the stumps yield fine wood as well. So that's cool. Don't fall in the water. Hopefully this place doesn't live up to its name. I know, right? The Drown Yard. I mean, there's a lot of water nearby, so. Hopefully I don't die too many times here. And we already have the, uh, we already have what we need to craft the rest of, um, the rest of what we need to, for this portal on the ship. So we just need to go to the ship, grab a few things, and then we can build the portal. But I think this would I think this would actually make a good area for a base as well, just right here. If it wasn't for the neighbors. Excuse me, sorry. Alright. How's, how's the ship doing? Anybody tried to hurt the ship yet? No? Fantastic. Alright. Storage. We need to grab this and this. Might as well grab the rest of that fine wood as well. The rest will stay on the ship. Jeez, water level getting off too high. Now we will have to sail back to Gabony, not Gabony, sorry, Moorland. We will have to sail back to Moorland in order to uh, connect these two portals. We will have to do that. Building miscellaneous, there we are. Set it in this corner right there. Tag, Nefalia. Oh, my caps lock is on. Nefalia. And we'll have to sail back, set the other portal that we have to the same name as this one in order for it to connect. So, once we do that, we'll, we will be as right as rain. Connect those. Throw that in there. We might as well take those with us. Alright. Alright, the wind is blowing in a southern direction, so sailing north would be quite painfully slow at this point so I think what I'm going to do right now is eat some soup mmm good soup and I'm going to try to take on at least one of these loxes and we're going to equip the we're going to equip the needle arrows we're going to see how well these do for a little bit There's one right there. I'm going to see about just if we can aggro that one. I think we hit it. I'm not for sure. Definitely hit that one. Got a little bit closer. Alright, we've definitely aggroed him. We're going to switch to... We're going to switch to the fire arrows. Set him on fire. Is he dead yet? Nope. Alright. So we're just going to... Oh, he's running away. That's a shame. Let's see if we can get him from here. Yep. Bullseye. It's starting to get a little better with this. Oh. We aggroed... We aggroed this little shit... Well, we're just going to, since we keep missing, we're just going to uh, take him on this way. Fuck off. And then we will retreat back. Start shooting this one. Hit him. Hit him again. 
I feel like these guys would be weak to piercing damage, so I should probably invest into crafting like a spear or a uh, something along. I forget what the other thing is called. Or something that does pierce piercing damage. What's that? Alright, and he's about halfway, so go ahead and equip this. Never mind, he's going to retreat. We're going to just. Come on, Mr. Locks. Come on. Don't run away from me, please. I'm trying to kill you. You're supposed to aggro on me. Ah. Shame. We're going to have to get a little closer. Or maybe not. Maybe he's actually going to run towards me this time. And I can actually fight him. Come on. Bonk. And the poison damage should have him any second. Alright. Dead. Easy. Nice, satisfying pop. Alright. And then there's going to be a mosquito up here. I saw him earlier. Don't know where he went, but I did see him. Shoot that one. Headshot. Oh, that was a miss. I hear another fairling somewhere. Alright, this one's not nearly as hurt, but. Successfully blocked him. Let's get rid of this furling. He's going to be a. Ow! Ow! That's a. Uh, can, can I please move? Please, for fuck's sake. the water. Alright. Now that it's just you and me. Come on. Alright. And then... Alright, I did not block that one. That was... My fault. There we go. He's dead. Ooh. Alright, time to kill the other one. Ooh, the Lox Trophy. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, there you are. Goodbye. Alright, the wind's now in a northern direction. Let's go set sail. And while we're back at the moorland, we can also cook our food. We can also cook our food. Which is great, because we need to cook food. Food is good. Food is very good. I don't want some guy's head. Alright. Let's... Actually, let's... Let's, let's back up. Let's back up instead of trying to go forward. I'm actually surprised Naira nor King have shown up. I'm very surprised. Well, Naira did say she had a headache, so she may she may have already fallen asleep. King may be at work. All right. Sail north. With the 
wind on our backs, the sun in our hair, with the sun in our backs and the wind in our hair, let's move forward. We can also grab, we could also grab those two dragon eggs and sail with them down this way, so that way we're not having to search as much. And we can just carry them to Moda. Moda. I don't know how you pronounce the name. Moda, sounds right. Can we see serpents? No? Okay. Hmm. Where'd Hobbit go? Is she still here? She's just being quiet. It says I only have one viewer, so I'm just curious as to, as to all who's here. Oh, we need to hang left. So we see now it now it's updated to where it says two viewers. I don't know why it took so long for it to update, but it said I, it said I've only had one viewer this whole time, so I was curious as to all who was here. There's a swamp. It looks like a plains that goes into a swamp. That goes into a forest. Interesting. Any serpents nearby? No? Okay. I need to change my, my gingerbread man back. He's just kind of been hanging out. I need to change him back to, uh, to Chrome Dome. Oh, but I like the gingerbread. Yeah, but it's not Christmas anymore. And he was the whole Christmas theme kind of thing. I have to see about seeing, I have to see about what other pets I can get because I'm, I've only used the pets that were like free on Capamon so I'm curious as to how many others I can possibly get if I could get a dragon that would be really cool if I could get like a little knight like a little a little knight that would be awesome like a little suit of armor that'd be cute but a dragon would also fit the theme because dragons and knights go hand in hand I was about to say a little knight would be cool. Or awesome, yep. Yeah. That would be really cute. Really cool. Hobbit, if I see another serpent, I'll drag him to shore for you. And I'll show you the epic battle that we have. Or a chibi beholder. Uh, I don't know if it would really fit my theme. It would be cool. I'm not gonna lie, it would be really cool, but it wouldn't really match my theme. And yeah, Hobbit, it's kind of funny. It's, it's like literally right after you left, I was like, I'll just go home. I'll just go home and deposit my stuff and start this process so I can go to bed. And literally as I was about to pull into, uh, as I was about to pull into the, uh, into the dock, I saw one behind me. And so I was like, oh, harpoon, get the harpoon. And I speared it and I ran my ship into the shore. Like, I literally did, I just said, screw the dock, and just sailed into the shore, jumped out, and tried dragging it on shore. And it ended up getting away from me, right? It ended up getting away from me because I ran out of stamina, and I couldn't, like, re-harpoon it. And it ended up sailing back out into the ocean. So I quickly got on my boat, backed up as fast as I could, and chased it down, re-harpooned it, drug it back to the, back to, uh, the land, ran my boat into the shore again, tried to, and just, like, did this process, like, two times before I was able to drag it on the shore far enough to where it couldn't wiggle its way back into the ocean. It was a fun fight. Oh, it's, 
I was gonna lose my shit though if I if I if I ended up letting it get away. But I successfully successfully um, brought it on shore and chopped it up to death. I don't know why, but a campestry gives me your vibes. Campestry. I'm not. For some reason, off the top of my head, I'm not familiar with that one. I'm more of like a camp pastry kind of fella, if you know what I mean. The little face rooms. I'm still not pulling anything. I'm still not pulling anything out of my memory banks for some reason. I don't I don't have the whole monster manual memorized, so I don't I'm sure there are monsters out there that I have no clue what they are. To be fair, they were just brought back after being gone for years. They were in 2E. Uh yeah, I've I've no clue what was in 2E, so. And if they were just brought back, I don't I don't have Tasha's cauldron uh, or anything beyond that. So Any serpents? No? Sad. Going slow down. Nope, nothing. They're in the witch light book. See, I don't have a witch light, so. That was a bad game, but that was a bad, that was a bad docking station, it's fine though. Yeet. All right, let's go ahead and repair the ship. Repair that, repair that, repair that. Everything else is fine. Uh, did we put anything to our storage that we can take back out? Or did we already grab everything? Uh, chitin, let's go ahead and grab that. Sent you a message with their link in the wiki, all right. <laughs> that was Gucci. Alright, we're back home. Hearth is nice nice and lit. Uh silver can go over here. Uh we need to make a rug. Alright, we'll go ahead and deposit all these things in our box and then we'll get the portal connected. We'll actually take that lock, those lock pelts because we're going to make a rug. Uh, anything over here? Ooh, we need to deposit this lox head trophy. Uh, rocks, 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 rocks. Okay. Rocks us. Uh, ee, ee, ee. Uh, right, so. Uh, feathers can go in here. Our hoe. I should put the hoe back in the box over in Nepalia, so we'll keep that one, because we already have two hoes here. <laughs> we have two hoes already here. And then we'll go ahead and cook this lox meat. And we'll see about uh, furniture, rug. We'll make a lox rug at the entrance. And that'll take a second to cook, so we don't have to worry about it. We can walk away for a minute. Lox rug right at the door. Uh, we'll put it long ways. Uh, we'll put it like that. Perfect. Can I make another one? <gasps> I can make another one. I can have two. I can have two locks pelts, locks rugs. Come back and check on this. I don't want to be put in a box because I'm not a hoe. Jerk. Oh, got him. Uh, I just feel comfortable there. Bing, 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 bing. 
And that's all of our locks meat that we've had that we lost. Uh, we need to go check on our bees. Oh wait, no, we don't need to check on our bees. We have honey somewhere. There we go. And we can do something. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go make another Lux rug real quick. We'll put it right. There. Nice little. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Let's actually pull these out as well and we'll make another double rug area. You know, you give off a dog boy vibes. I love dogs. I love dogs. I love cats. I love lizards. In case you've never met Axel, he was Axel. He is the best boy that I have. He's so cute and fluffy. Aren't you? I love Axel. Alright, my carry weight is 174, so we are going to. Um. We'll actually keep the locks made on us. You know what? Screw it. We'll keep the locks made on us. Our carry weight comes from mostly these rugs and these skins. So we're going to make another rug right there. We're going to make another deer mat right here. But since these are uneven, we're going to alternate them like so. And then... One right here. I like that. I like that. Yes. And then we'll put these back in. Back down to 121. You know why? Don't they make the plushies of all the monsters? There would totally be a mark. There would be a market if they made the plushies for all the monsters. I feel like there would be. I don't know why they don't. Don't know why, but... Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, can we make any health potions? So we need... Blood bags, raspberries, and dandelions. Blood bags, raspberries, and dandelions. So... We should have blood bags here. There we go. We'll make a couple meat bases. There. One right there. Throw one in there and one in there. Perfect. I'm gonna throw these back in here and these back in here. Then we will go and go up here. The folia. Oop, oop, oop. It says it's connected, but just to be sure, I'm going to sleep. And so many people would want a life-size daddy straw. <laughs> oh no! Just get just get strawed on a uh, body pillow. Just get strawed on a body pillow, and there you go. All right, the folly is connected, which means this plan worked. This plan worked fabulously. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. <coughs> a strawed pillow. <laughs> a strawdy pillow, if you will. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that hobbit. Good job. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, back to doing this. I would like to go explore this area real quick. I would very much like to explore this area over here. So I can satisfy my my curiosity. There's what looks to be a I'm just trying to keep an eye out for Oh, I forgot to repair all my equipment, but that's fine. Trying to keep an eye out for mosquitoes. 
jet skeetos, if you will. Don't, don't see any yet. They will more than likely scare the piss out of me when they actually appear. More than likely. Like that. Blocked. Fuck off. Hydrate, thank you for the hydrate. <sighs> Delicious. Good sprite. Alright. Wait, think if they did them similar to how they did the Funkos. Like, it would be adorable to have a little red jacket. I think that would be really cool. That's a good idea. You should start a business, Emerald. You should start a business and do that. Alright. Alright. I'm so... I'm so happy that I can block these mosquitoes now. I'm so happy that I can do that. So happy that I can block these stupid fucking mosquitoes. They absolutely terrify me. Still, they absolutely terrify me. It's nice and foggy this morning. Nice and foggy. I'm trying to keep an eye out for loxes. Trying to keep an ear out for furlings. Haven't sown in ages. You should do it anyways. Start again. Wild berries. Delicious. Nom 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 nom. Alright, I heard some. I do not know where they are. But I see my goal in the distance. almost been noticed oh look at that the way the sun's just ah <sighs> so satisfying that's too expensive for a hobby to do right now understandable understandable <coughs> all right i hear them but do not see them i'm gonna go ahead and get my bow out yep i've got my things my obsidian arrow is equipped Plus, I would have to buy all the equipment over again. Uh, yeah, that would that would be a hassle. That would be a hassle. It really bugs me that I can't see them. They are so small. I see one. He's over the hill, right over there. Right where my marker is. I don't want to blindly shoot over there and just aggro like six of them. So we'll, mo we'll sneak on this way. This is quite legitimately the coolest thing I've found so far. Or one of the coolest, I should say. The thing you're going towards looks like it's fingers... That's what I was saying! That's what I'm saying! It looks like a fingers reaching off! That's why I wanted to investigate it. I was... I was like, this is so cool. We're gonna go see what this is. Look, it's like a palm. It's an offering bowl. This is... I was right. I was right. This is the location for the final boss. I was right. Emerald, I called it, didn't I? Runestone, read. Yagluth and his dying soul was split and shared among all his kin. I was right. I was right. This is the site for the final boss. 
This is the site for the final boss. So it is a Goblin King. It is a Goblin King. I probably need like a bunch of heads. That is cool. That is a cool boss location. That is a very cool boss location. Why is my microphone so close? Also notice how the music is softer because I'm crouched. this guy there he is don't move perfect bullseye pick up all the cloud berries what am I gonna do with these I have absolutely no clue eat them more than likely but I think I can craft things with them specifically banners so, let's see, how many do I have? 34? We'll just keep grabbing them. A few more over here this way. Alright, we'll go see what's over here. I don't feel the need to crouch. Oh, never mind. I feel the need to crouch. I'm going to... There we go. I do not need... Ow! 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 Alright, let's try this again. There we go, blocked. 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 Solid hit. Back up. I'm gonna eat some honey and some mushrooms. Blocked. Three hits. Blocked. Two and three. Just keep dashing away. Blocked him again? Apparently. Ow. Even with my damage resistance from Bone Mass, he still hits a lot. But that is so cool. I'm so glad I found that. It saves me a lot of time and effort. Morlock's pelts. Oh, we don't need those stones. Get rid of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Alright. This probably tells me, like... Yeah. Where... Logs. It's really funny that I find a logolith stone right here next to the boss location. Well, cool. Oh, hey, uh, there. Uh, hello. You fancy a go? Alright, go ahead and just grab a few of these. And he ran away. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. up what the cloud berries are for. It's probably like making banners and eating and making recipes and stuff. So that's what I imagine. Oh hello. There we go. He's down. Blocked. Three recipes but you also use them to tame loxes. Well, there we go. Once I actually make a locks pit, that may that may be something I do for Nefalia, is make a locks pit. That'd be cool. Make like a fencing area for the loxes and then throw the cloud berries in there. Leave them in for a couple days, tame them. Because I knew you could tame the loxes, I just didn't know how. 
And he's dead. Very good. Go ahead and pick up all that meat. Because he's a fat boy. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need that. Keep the rest of it on to us. Uh, we're going to get rid of the black metal scrap because we don't need that. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, I might, I might make, I need to actually put, uh, the home symbol right here, so. Portfolio. There we are. Alright, sweet. Now we need to adventure up the mountain. We've investigated that successfully. We now know what that is. Now we need to head towards the mountain and see if we can uh, find any uh, dragon eggs. Because I'm pretty much prepared for the fight other than uh, just repairing my equipment. I don't think I can swim across there. Can I make a quick raft, actually? Uh, that would require a lot of wood. I'm not going to do that. How much, well, let me double check. How much does a raft take? Uh, 20 wood, 6 leather scraps, and 6 resin. So I could make it but, meh. Let's find a short way across. Oh, there's a lox right there. Let's uh, avoid him. I don't feel like fighting him. I will have to fight this guy, though. Short way across. What is the shortest way across here? Hmm, probably over that way. I love how I keep pointing to my screen as if you guys can see where I'm pointing, but over that way. Alright, so let's let's actually quickly run back to Moreland. Quickly run back to Moreland. And then we will Repair of all of our equipment, and then we'll start adventuring up the mountain. Now, if we can't find any dragon eggs, what we'll do is we will just grab the ones that we have, put them in the ship, and then find another one, put that in the ship, and then sail them down. Because you can't teleport with them, which is really annoying, but it is what it is. Bit a bit. Close that back. Fill up the map this way. Right. So close. Yeah. Quickest way across would be just over here. Swimming across. I probably should have built this base farther inland than what I did. Probably should have built it like up that way. But it's fine. It's just a tiny base. Probably shouldn't even have given it a name, but we did. Is that a copper deposit by any chance? That is, so that's good. Bunch of cliffs. There's a uh, wyvern right there. Uh, I don't feel like putting in the effort to try to make this an e e easier climb. We'll just go from rock to rock. Where'd you go? There you are. Come on back. Any more fire 
scenarios, I do not. Goodbye. Alright, so. I'll sit here for a little bit longer than my stamina recharge. Uh, I need to re-eat. Uh, instead of eating any serpent stew, I'm going to eat some lox meat. And some mushrooms. Go up this way. Go up to this rock. <coughs> We're going to try to make it up to that one. Emphasis on try. Alright, good. Uh, where did it go from here? Looks like a rock over there. I don't know if we'll make it to that one. So let's try. Let's just try for this. Let's just try for going up here. Bullseye. Perfect. It's like Skyrim climbing. <laughs> you just gotta run up and jump at the same time. Like I said, there's probably, there's more than likely an easier way. There's definitely an easier way to get up here, but this is the most direct. Right. How many health potions do I have? Six? That's plenty. Um... I'm gonna get rid of these puke berries. Let's see. Where'd it go from here? Probably this way? Hmm. Hmm. I'll try to go up and around to get on top of this. Eat some honey real quick. Let's see if we can snipe this uh, white. Ooh, there's a white one right there that we can snipe. Oh well, he noticed us first. Come on back. Where'd you go? There you are. Looks like there's a wolf that was trying to run by. Oh, hello! There you are. Goodbye. Easy enough. Sometimes the less easy path is the most interesting. Anyways, yep, exactly. Come on, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Come on, a little bit more. Perfect. made it up the mountain. We are now on top of it. And now it's just a matter of finding uh, dragon eggs. Ooh, chest with some frost arrows. I'll gladly take those, unless I have to craft. So uh, let's go ahead and head to the boss area. Necessary amount. I understand this. Oh, that's why. That's why there are many drakes. It's because I found a dragon egg. Good enough. Easy enough for me. Enough for me, so let's mark this on the map. Dragon egg. I like it. I would pick. Oh, what I can do. What I can do. I'll go ahead and, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Eat it. See if I can. Oh, 
No, but I can't push it. I was kind of hoping I could, like, just push it along, but I can't do that. Which is fine. <coughs> I'm not too terribly far. Getting cold just watching you make your way through this area. Normally I would be cold. But due to my armor, it's kind of warm. Good old wolf fur. Go ahead and eat another mushroom. That looks to be another dragon egg right up there as well. So that works almost perfectly. We'll go ahead and eat this out. Oh, there it goes. Goodbye, Mr. Dragon Egg. I thought I could carry you. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. These guys are It doesn't hurt too much, but it's really annoying. What's in here? If anything. Anything cool? Haha, <laughs> get it? Cool. <laughs> Doesn't look like it, so we'll just. Uh, what we'll do. What we can do. Since the boss is over that way. Do. Let's grab that and just walk this way. I'm going to yeet it towards the boss room. I feel like that makes sense. Yeet. I have to find out exactly where it is. Hmm. All right. Down it goes. Ah, there it is. I do kind of hope there's a chest nearby so I can actually deposit some of these things and not have to, you know, carry 341 pounds of shit. Oh, I hear a bone. There we go. One dragon egg installed. <sighs> Just two more. And I know where one is. I know where one dragon egg is. So we're going to go try to retreat. Actually, no. Let's check this house real quick. Hello. I told you I heard someone bony in here. <gasps> and there is a chest. So that's wonderful. Not to mention, I can just throw some of these things in here. So, let's, let's eat that. Let's put these lox pelts in here, these cloud berries, this lox meat. Um, put that lox meat in here as well. And that drops us to 93 pounds. Wonderful. Is there a door? There is a door. Perfect. It would be perfect if I could get out. There we are. Now time to go back up. 
<sighs> and we can just lug this other dragon egg. Oh, I, hello. There we go. He's dead. Right. We have so much health. We have 153 health. That's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but it's about to get less. It's probably... Yep, yeah, yeah. It dropped immediately. Once I eat that other... Once I eat that honey. Alright, where did that other dragon egg go? Let's see... Guys, not for like. I can't. I can't fucking jump. I can't move. I'm out of stamina. I'm. I'm. I was out of stamina. I couldn't. I literally could not move. Fuck. Stupid fucking wolves. Of all the fucking things to kill me, the fucking wolves get me because I'm out of stamina. God. Fucking. Damn, dude. At least I at least I have my portal and I can teleport back. But holy shit. Yeah, the dragon eggs. The dragon eggs get me every time. But it's fine. It's fine. We have frost resistant meads. I can get back to my things. I can get back to my things. It's not going to be that difficult to get back to. Because I have food, I have meads, I have a little bit of armor. I'm just upset that I died. Because I I literally could not move, and that's why I'm upset that I that I died, is because I every single time they would get close enough for me to be able to block them or dodge, I I just didn't have stamina. Let's go ahead and grab those. Uh no. Well at least throw pants on. Do we have any mushrooms? We do not have any mushrooms. So, we'll make some onion soup. Make some onion soup. We'll make some black soup. So, blood bag honey and a turnip. I don't have any honey on me because I just lost all the honey. So I need the turnips. I need the blood bags. And let's go grab some honey real quick. Stupid wolves, man. They just like they don't have a lot of health, but their attack pattern is so bad, and once they get in a pack, it's really hard to deal with them. And that's why I was trying to get on top of that rock, but I couldn't get on top of the rock without jumping, but I couldn't jump without stamina. Alright, let's... Um, let's just grab the rest of these. Hello, bees. Hello, bees! Alright, we don't need a lot. Just need a little bit. Go back, make some uh, blood soup or black soup, whatever it's called. And we'll make something else. We'll make because this will be. I don't. Uh, the onion soup will probably give us a little bit of health and a lot of stamina. The blood soup will give us a little bit of health and a lot of stamina. And the last thing we need is like a meat base to make sure we have health. So. Let's just grab the lox meat. We'll just grab the lox meat. Alright, fermenters are still going. Black soup. Craft that. 
Do mead stack? Uh, because you can use your power berries to make medium stamina meads. They do stack. I can have multiple meads at once. It's just I don't have any uh, stamina meads. Power berries and yellow mushrooms. I think I only had a couple yellow mushrooms. Let me check my inventory. Yeah, all the yellow mushrooms that I had were on my person, so. Throw those in there. Get the blood bags in here. Throw the turnips in here. And we'll throw the honey in here. And that will be our food that we eat. Uh, weapons, I don't want to grab any weapons. I'm mostly going to be just making a beeline. So, Nepalia. There we are. Alright. Here we are. Uh, we'll set this as a spawn point. Oh. Close that. We'll go ahead and eat one of our soups so that way we can get some stamina so that way we can swim across. Oh, there's a troll cave. What do you know? <sighs> Alright, this time I'm going to hang a left. Instead of trying to go up the mountain that way, I'm going to try to hang a left to see if there's an easier way. I don't have time for you, Grey Dwarves. Go ahead and down one of these, down one of these. And I don't want to eat my uh, onion soup just yet because I only have one of those. to the rock at the least before stamina run out. Alright, there is a little bit of an easier way up this way. You guys are really following me up here. Now we'll, we will eat uh, this onion soup. We'll go ahead and eat the onion soup. Activate bone mass. We'll make a run for our things. Oh, and there's a stone giant. Or a stone golem. Isn't that nice? See, items recovered. Quickly equip all of these. What's our carry weight? 126? Fuck. Alright, let's get rid of that. Um, your stones. He's still coming after me. Uh, let's run up this way. Mr. Stone Golem, I really don't want to fight you. He 
goes, yeah, I wouldn't want to fight me neither. Contestant number eight, and wonder when they're going to read yours. I don't know. I don't know. I've been checking every day to see when they're going to read mine, but they haven't read mine yet. All right, we should still have that dragon egg there. That dragon egg should still be in the slot. Yes, I can see it from here. So that's fine. Uh, we need to get rid of a few things. I don't want to dump this locks meat. These are 10 pounds. Dump the root leggings. Dump that. That's 9 pounds. The lox meat is going to be what's going to weigh us down the most. It's 1.5 pounds. We don't need those. We'll get rid of the lox meat. Right. Now, where'd that other dragon egg go? Because this is the spot where... Or is that up that way? No, this is the spot we first found. This was the spot where we first found the... So, there's... Over that way is the second dragon egg. Which means the first dragon egg's right there! Perfect. Perfect. Go and deposit this one. <coughs> now we just need to find a third dragon egg. need to find one more. Well, where is our third dragon egg? It would be too simple if it's over that way. It would be much too simple. But, sometimes the simplest things... Let's actually fix this house real quick. Let's actually fix this house. What we're going to do, since there are a couple trees around, we're going to make another... Oh. Another stone golem. Fantastic. Plus, we will have to fight this one. Oh, never mind. That stone golem kept taking care of that Drake force. That was terrible. All right, Mr. Stone Golem. these things that we don't need. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Let's cut this tree. plenty of wood now to be able to not only fix this house but be able to make a bed oh my god fucking get oh. thank you and who put the door over this way who in their right mind puts a door right here get rid of that building I'm gonna build a wall well, first things first, we need to actually 
fix all this. There we are. Now, time for the roofing. Fix the roof. Just like so. We are going to break apart these. We'll build a stone wall or a wall right there. Oh, wall. Uh, no, we're going to build a door right there. But there is going to be a thing right there, so we need to fix this. Fix that. Fix that, fix that, fix that, fix that. And then a door, 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 right there. Another wall, right here. Wall, right there. Perfect. And now we're just going to make a do -do 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 campfire. Do I have any stone in here? Okay, I will have to go pick up some stone. Not bad. All right, and I think I need I think I need one more stone actually. So the stream went from adventure to HGTV so fast. Why did it go to HGTV? How'd it go to HGTV? Oh wait 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 wait. you're doing home repair <laughs> fair enough we'll knock out that. and then we will build furniture damn I'm a little short on wood that's fine we'll go cut down a tree how much wood do we have we need eight eight perfect bed Put it right there. Boom! Spawn point set. So that way, if we die up here, we don't have to start all the way down that way. And it's a good place to where once I gather all these eggs, I can stop my stream so that way I can keep my boss fight for a different day. So, planning ahead. Unfortunately, I think this fucking wyvern's going to ruin my day. We're going to go up to that that little area. Uh, we're going to eat again. We're going to eat some black soup. We're going to eat some sea serpent soup. And we still have that onion soup on our stomach. So we have a lot of soup. Good soups. Very good soups. All right, and then we're going to go up this way. Oh, I hear them. Where are you? There you are. Fuck off. You've already killed me once, you're not doing it again. Alright, Emerald, we'll see you later, buddy. Thank you for staying by. I'm probably not gonna do this too much longer, to be honest. I'm I'm like I said, I'm just gonna find this last egg and then pop a squat down in that uh tiny hut. I need to name actually. So, tiny hut. There we are. Now we just have to find this last dragon egg. Get rid of all this shit that we don't need. Eat that lox meat. Dump it out. Um, this way. <sighs> yeah, not many people jumped in on this stream today. Not many people stopped by today's stream.
Do I still have my wishbone? Okay, I do. Oh, hello. Oh, decent surprise. Didn't even hear them. Bong. Alright, what's in the chest? Um, nothing of import. Alright, continuing our search, the heroes, the hero descends back down the cliff. It is Monday, that is very true, it is Monday. Maybe I should take a break on Mondays. No, give, give me that back. There. Hmm. I need to find a place where a bunch more wyverns or drakes are resting or flying about. I almost have 200 health. That's insane. That's most I've ever had. Alright, there's a tablet over here. I'm gonna go read it. There are friends in Valheim, but you must seek them amongst your enemies. Old friends, firekin, moon singers. For centuries they have hunted alongside you. Now you must remind them of the old covenant between your people and theirs. Flesh is their delight and must be your offering. Uh, wolves. Just tell me I contain my wolves. Interesting. <sighs> Another chest. There's some frost arrows in there. Hmm. <gasps> Ooh, what's this? Probably nothing down here, but still cool. Alright. Let's uh let's equip the wishbone, see if there's anything nearby. Anything hidden. There it is. Probably a bunch of silver. Continue to go this way. I guarantee you it's a bunch of silver. It's like a silver vein. Silver vein. Yep. So I don't really need this equipped. Let's get rid of this. Probably headed in the wrong direction. No, stop. Equip the fucking bow. Before he notices me. Well, he noticed me. There's also this fellow.
anything in there. Anyone home? Don't mind me, I'm just looting. Just stealing your things. Can you point me in the right direction to the closest dragon egg? <coughs> I may have to get one for my ship. <sighs> That's frustrating. I saw a red glow and thought I got lucky. Probably need to eat again soon. Upon this spot, Otho and Bjorn fought a mighty duel to decide who has the finest beard. Now I, Bjorn, must carve the stone to say that the beard of Otho is as bright and beautiful as a cornfield in summer. May almighty Thor tear down my own beard from my face if I lie. Well, there we go. Nice little tidbit. Nice little funny piece of lore. Some more frost arrows. Getting low on obsidian arrows. I feel like this is not the right way, but we're just gonna have to explore every tidbit of this mountain and games throwing random stuff like that. It's pretty funny. I do enjoy it. But there's been other rune stones like that as well. Like they all say a good variety amount of things. What's this one say? In these mountains, I cannot throw a spear without hitting something that wants to kill me. But from the heights, I have seen the sunny plains where life will be easier. I go now to make my home there. These are the words of Ulf. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, Ulf. I don't think that's going to be an easier life in those plains. It, there's a lot of things out there that want to kill you, too. To be, to be honest. forest line, so... Uh, probably would have been easier to get those dragon eggs for my ship than to try to search this whole area. Two days later, Ulf was bitten by a swarm of death skittos. <laughs> two days. I don't think it even lasted two days. I think it was like, the planes! <coughs> and just threw the skull. <coughs> Or he was like, look at this big fuzzy creature. And it turned around and went, ow. Just ate him in one bite. Poor, poor Ulf. I'm getting tired of looking. Oh my god. Drake, you and your shitty music need to get out of here. something. Oh. That's what I hear. What's up? Hmm. 
Oh, they will, well, they've noticed me, so I was just going to... Bonk. Bonk. Alright, time for the wyvern. The drake. I'll be reading. The drakes want my body. Oh, hello. Let's get rid of this. Don't be disappointed in me. Don't you dare judge me. Very nice starburst flavor. Like a pink starburst flavor. I like it. Who is this? They want my body. Alright. Where on earth is Carmen San Diego? I no longer have the 299 health I once had. It is now depleted. There's a werewolf down there. Why am I possibly judging you? Also, Pink Starburst is my favorite. They are also my favorite. Uh, because of the... I was, th saying, I was thinking you would judge me because of the, uh, the Red Bull. Come on, buddy. Come on. Pick me again. I double dog dare you. Haha, <laughs> get it, dog. Oh, I missed. Never mind. Why am I even using those? Let's get rid of those. Yeet! Aw. Damn it. One more should do it. my arrows. Yeah, I'll never judge you for your druid finger, mostly because I hate that shit when it's done. Yeah, true. Ooh. Ow! You jerk. Yeah, go attack the stupid other things. The skelly boys. Get back in here. Oh my god. I'm just wasting my arrows at this point. Let's at least equip the frost arrows. So that way I can do something. Alright, Drake's dead. Clean, bong, clean. Is there a uh, spawn point? Yeah, there's a spawn point. Uh, still no dragon egg. Still no dragon egg. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Let's start, eat our last serpent soup. Taking me so long that I'll actually have to probably go back and prepare some food and stuff for this fight. All right, let's head the other direction now. Did you kill one of those skeletons by landing on it? <laughs> it, it just looked like it. I actually landed on top of them and then fell off. 
That would have been cool if I just, like, stomped on him. Just... There's that stone golem. Yeah, we aggroed him. Ow. Can you not, sir? Please? Thank you. I ain't done shit to you. Yes! Finally. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Come on. Come on, big boy. Don't be a nuisance. Come on. There we go. Oh my god. That was annoying. But now we have the three dragon eggs. So, whoop. So now, I can have them all here. I can at least put this in the box. I think that's, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this in the box. So that way, I can come back to this at a different point in time. Deposit it and just, at the beginning of my stream, just take care of the boss. And then I'm almost done with this area. Emphasis on almost. I still have a lot of... Uh, well, this area specifically, but not the mountain biome. I'm not done with the mountain biome. There's still a lot of silver that I have to get. There's still a lot of silver that I have to get a hold of. Oh, missed. I also... Oh, I forgot my silver sword. Damn it. So I will have to come back anyways, so. Either way, let's just throw this in here. Grab that cooked box meat. <coughs> Grab these again. We'll just keep all that there. And I think that's where I'm going to end the stream. Oh. Uh. We made a good, some good headway. We made some great headway, in fact. We made some great headway. So, I think that's where I'm going to end it. Thank you, Hobbit, for sticking around. But, I think it's best if I go ahead and end this here. So, Tasvidaniya.